here. Thanks for checking out the sum of consecutive integer word problem video from MathCelebrity.com. Today, you're going to learn two things. First, I'm going to walk you through an example of the sum of consecutive integers problems and how to solve these quickly. And then, at the end of the video, I'm going to show you how to get to our calculator to check any sum of consecutive integer problem quickly so you could speed up your homework and improve your learning skills. If that sounds good, let's go get it. Well, let's start with a sum of consecutive integer problem. These problems ask for the sum of consecutive integers or numbers. And for these problems, you need to figure out two things. First, how many consecutive integers are they asking for? It may be two, it may be three, figure out how many consecutive integers. And part two, what type of consecutive integers are they asking? If they're simple, straightforward consecutive integers, great. Sometimes they ask for consecutive even or consecutive odd. And that adds a little bit of a twist to the problem. All right, let's start with sum of consecutive integers approach. We're gonna start with a number n for these word problems. If they're even or odd consecutive integers, we're going to add 2 to each one. Because to iterate to the next even or odd, you add 2. If it's not even or odd and they're just consecutive integers, you add 1 to each number. So n, n plus 1, and n plus 2. Let's start with an example. We want to know the sum of three consecutive integers equals 27. What are the integers? Okay, because they didn't state the word odd or even, we're going to add 1. That's our first clue. We'll add n plus n plus 1 plus n plus 2 equals 30. And this is our consecutive integer equation. We'll move to part 2. As we add those numbers, we want to group like terms, which means variables with variables and constants with constants. So we've got n plus n plus n, rearranging the left side, plus 1 plus 2 equals 30. We have our variables and our constants grouped. If we simplify, we get 3n plus 3 equals 30. And if we subtract 3 from each side and simplify this, we get 3n equals 27. And finally, part 3, let's bring it home and get our answer. 3n equals 27. Divide each side by 3, we get n equals 9. This is our first integer. The problem asks for the sum of three consecutive integers. So our second integer in this problem is n plus 1, and when n is 9, 9 plus 1 is 10. Finally, the third integer, consecutive integer, n plus 2. 9 plus 2 is 11. Which brings us to our final answer. The three consecutive integers that add up to 30 are 9, 10, and 11. Let's walk through another problem, but this time we'll throw in the even-odd twist. The problem says we have a sum of three consecutive even integers equals 30. What are the integers? Now this problem is worded exactly the same as the first one, but it's asked for even integers. Because we said the word even, we're going to add 2 to each consecutive integer. So we start with n, our next consecutive integer, n plus 2, and finally the third consecutive even integer, n plus 4. And we add those up and they equal 30. We'll take the same approach as last time. We're going to have group like terms, variables, and constants. So we group our variables and our constants and we get 3n plus 6 equals 30. If we subtract 6 from each side, we're going to get 3n equals 24. And now we're at the last step, 3n equals 24. Divide each side by 3, and we get n equals 8. This is the first of three consecutive even integers. To get the next one, we add 2, because they're even integers. So n plus 2 is 8 plus 2 equals 10. And finally, our third and final even consecutive integer is n plus 4. When n is 8, 8 plus 4 equals 12, which brings us to our final answer. 
the sum of three consecutive even integers that add up to 30 are 8, 10, and 12. So finally, let's introduce you to the sum of consecutive integers calculator. Let's say you have homework problems down the road that deal with consecutive integer sums and you need help. You can visit this address and I will put this in the video description. If you're on our site already, then you know how to run the problems. If you're not, you're going to go to this address, which I'll show you in a second. And here's a couple examples that you can type in for shortcuts. This, of course, could be any number. So you could have sum of five consecutive integers. You could have even, odd, or just consecutive. And this could be any number as well. So let's go to the calculator. And then we'll just copy and paste this. Instead of type it out. So here is the Math Celebrity site. In case you've never seen it, you're going to go in the search box, type your problem, hit return, and it's going to run your consecutive integer problem. And as you can see, it's going to list out your integers. We increment by one, as we talked about in the video, because their regular numbers are not even or odd. We group variables and constants, subtract three, simplify, as we did in the video earlier, divide by 3, isolate n, we get 8. This is n1, so we want to find our other two numbers. Because they're not even or odd, they're just consecutive, you add 1 to get the next one, and 1 to get the one after that. So it's 8, 9, and 10. So the beauty of this calculator is you could run any sum of consecutive integer problem, and it'll get a step-by-step -step explanation to get you to the answer. So I want to thank you for watching this video, and I will see you in the next video.